Hello, welcome back to From Soft Serve. Today we're going to try to boot Bloodborne on PC. But you might be wondering, how the hell are you going to do that? Uh, but yeah, so there are PS4 emulators that are out there, like FP, PS4, uh, and then I believe there's one being made by the creators of the PS3 emulator, RPCS3. I'm assuming it's going to be called RPCS4. Um, I don't think we've really seen the fruits of that quite yet. But Shad PS4 is one that's sort of popped up and taken the lead in terms of playability and getting into games like with 3D, actual 3D rendering like Red Dead Redemption Remastered or whatever the remaster they came out with last year. You can get in game with that, it has issues. But Bloodborne is the focus for today because. You can get as far as character creation, but I kind of wanted to do it just on my own computer uh, and then boot it just to have fun, just to see, just to just to feel alive for a second. Uh, I'll show you the Shad PS4 uh, website here, uh, and that's where you can follow the progress. And they've actually gotten in game with Dark Souls Remastered, uh, which, of course, you might be wondering, well, why would they be doing that? You can play it on PC. You can, you know, like. It's more so for getting the actual emulator working and fixing the issues and having accuracy. So getting in-game at all with any game, you're going to be able to fix issues to improve compatibility across the board. And then beyond that, you can also go to uh, GitHub. That's where it's actually posted. And you can go to the main page for Shad PS4, and that's where you can download it. Currently in the releases, it's the 0.1. Uh, which was which does not boot Bloodborne. Um, it's actually 0.1.1. So what I do is I go to Actions, and then you'll see on the left here you'll see Windows QT, and then you'll actually see these are builds that are being posted and worked on. And so as you can tell, it gets worked on very, 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 very quickly. Uh, and I think that's why the progress has been so fast. And we moved from Bloodborne can't boot to Bloodborne can boot to Bloodborne doesn't show anything when it boots. Then it does display the menus, but it's all red. And then it they fix that. And then now the menu is successful and it looks normal. Uh, and then they got to character creation. So like the movement within just like a two month period has been very quickly, but they've been working on this obviously longer than that. Um, but you actually click on uh, whichever the most recent one is. This one's actually uh, in progress currently. Um, but you go to the most recent one, you can actually download the emulator right here for Windows. Uh, and if you want the Linux or the other ones, those are uh, on the other links, not the Windows, but you'll see the Mac OS and the Linux QT. And uh, yeah, so they're working on it a lot. They also have a Discord, um, which I will link. Uh, let me open up my Discord for a second, and you'll see all the messages I haven't responded to because I'm terrible and awful at Discord. Uh, Shad PS4, and yeah, you'll see they have uh, a showcase, and they talk about most recent games that they've actually gotten in game with, and issues they're having, and it's really cool. Just honestly, very, very interesting to read about because... I obviously don't 100% know what they're talking about all the time, but it's very fascinating. And so now let's try to boot it. Um, full disclosure, I have booted it successfully before. Uh, I did download a new, new, new build just a little bit ago. So I was going to test if anything is different. Um, but, you know, I think it would be fun regardless uh, to boot Bloodborne. So you hit click play. And then you let it do its work. And that's kind of cool. You see the in the background the uh, uh, command prompt show everything that's actually happening. So I'll move that. Yeah, I'll usually have it delay here for a little bit where it says the same thing like over and over again. And then eventually it kicks into the actual uh, logos. Uh, and it's really sick nasty. It feels really weird. I got like full body chills the first time it, it, it booted. Uh, sorry I didn't record that, but, you know, I think people understand. I You know, obviously I don't record 
everything that I do. <laughs> it's not like the Truman Show callback for anyone who's seen that movie. Excellent movie. It's also early in the morning for me. I woke up recently, so I'm a little loopy, so that's why I'll be making random references. And uh, maybe I'll show you a Bloodborne tweet I made uh, a little bit earlier. I thought it was funny. Which is normally what I think of my tweets, and some are funny, some are not, but I thought this one was uh, a banger, as the kids say. It's still thinking, it's thinking. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's name equals no name mutex, result equals zero. If that isn't relatable, 100%. I feel ya, I get ya, and I support you. Okay, this is where you play, like, the Jeopardy music. Uh, is it the Jeopardy music or is it the Wheel of Fortune music? Let me know. The what's what's the what's the game show with like the countdown music? Na, ba, na, ba, na. Or is that Price is Right? I don't know. I I'm getting them all mixed up in my head currently. Uh, I'm vamping, if you will. I could just cut to when like it does boot, but I thought it might be cooler to just <laughs> show exactly. Uh, how long it takes for me because your experience will be different on every PC I think with every you know different setup and uh, what build you're using and it's flickering so that's good you know that seems good I think we like that there we go Sony Computer Entertainment presents there's like a one minute gap between where I'll cut, probably, because it was just saying the same thing. Japan Studio, rip. Screw you, Jim Ryan, <laughs> for closing Japan Studio. Oh my god, we have success. We're on the Bloodborne screen. It's crazy. Uh, the only thing that I've had an issue with when I boot it is that I can't get controller input. Uh, and on the actual emulator, they have the controller button here, but it doesn't do anything, so I'm assuming that's just placeholder. Um, and maybe you have, I mean, I guess this would make sense, you should have a DualShock 4 plugged up to your PC, but I don't know where my DualShock 4 is. Uh, I figured it would, like, remap to, I even tried to, like, fake it through, uh, oh, Rewast or whatever, that remapping program. I tried to remap it as, like, a virtual DS4 controller. Uh, and it, it didn't work, so I don't know. I'm not sure what is up with that, but I thought it was cool regardless. Uh, the, the arrow keys actually work, and that's what was interesting, because I actually went in, and you can set the... Oh, dang. Open game for it. Oh, well, that used to work. Maybe this one doesn't work. Anyway, you used to be able to remap, like... Uh, the keyboard you would be able to like what does what on a DualShock 4 controller so I set space to be like the X button and it didn't work so I'm assuming that is probably just under construction but like the arrow keys do work um, but yeah space bar doesn't work enter doesn't work weirdly Q Q sends it back to the top so I don't I don't know why that is I haven't had any other key really work uh, I'm, you might be hearing me smash all the keys on my keyboard, uh, but nothing works other than the arrow keys and Q for whatever reason. I don't know what Q is supposed to do, but anyway, it's still fucking awesome and super cool. And I waited to curse until later in the video. <laughs> this is going to be a wonky video. I promise I'll try not to make it too. Oh, what was that? Oh, I think it tried to play the video. And then it goes, uh-oh, can't do that, I think. Maybe. I might be wrong. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully this didn't edge you too much. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to show a small snippet of like, hey, that's fucking cool. So let me know if you also think that that is cool. And are you excited for Bloodborne to be on PC? Because I know I fucking am. And I honestly think that's the quicker route to us playing Bloodborne on PC is through emulation. I honestly think that, like, the 10-year anniversary is next year, right? Um, if we don't hear anything on the 10th anniversary or before it, like, then I'll start to worry. And think that maybe Sony won't do anything. 
Uh, personally, I don't think they'll go straight to PC. I think they're going to want to make more money by making a exclusive like PS5 or PS6 experience and then port that to PC later because you can double dip, right? I'd prefer it just comes to PC and then modders like me can go crazy on it and I would love nothing more. But from a business perspective, I get why they want to make an exclusive because, well, then they, they don't have to be charged a 30% fee on selling on Steam. So like, or whatever they've probably negotiated behind the scenes, but... Uh, or Epic Game Store, which is a smaller cut. But anyway, um, I thought this was cool, and I hope you think it's cool too. And I'll see all you hunters in the next video, which might be about a Sekiro texture mod, or the Sekiro texture mod. I'm almost done with Ash in the Outskirts. Turns out there's a lot of textures in that game. Who would have known? Uh, I think I've gone through like 700 or 800 textures at this at, at this jun juncture, maybe? I'm in a goofy mood. Um, and I have to go one by one, so it takes, like, forever. Uh, but, like, I prefer that it's one by one, so I can, like, optimize them. Oh, that really, that flash on the screen always scares me. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.